Hey, what's up? It's Snell, and welcome to a special collection update on Final Final Blog. And today, we're going to be blasting Finland's mighty Impaled Nazarene and uh, Tol Kormpunt Nors Nors Nors. Oh yeah. This is a fucking black metal classic. Osmos Productions. Fuck yes. Thank you Dominic in the UK for sending some sick, sick shit over. And we also have a massive upgrade to talk about as well. But for now, we're going to be blasting this beast right here by Impaled Nazarene, Tol Kormt, Nors, Nors, Nors. So fucking sick. Seriously, <laughs> such a gnarly release. I love good Finnish black metal, and this is just one of those releases that Oh man, so fucking good. And Dominic also sent over Gouge Beyond Death on Hell's Headbangers. Fucking sick stuff. I only got to play this once, but I was loving it. Just some nasty fucking death. Duo. Just sick stuff. Awesome artwork. Gouge. Beyond death. And finally, on cassette, I have the vinyl version of this that's on the Osmos Records production of Gods of War by Blasphemy. But this is the Blood Upon the Altar demo. Fuck yes. We have side darkness and side impurity. Fuck yeah. I love, love, love the demo versions from 1989 from Blasphemy on Blood Upon the Altar. Sounds great on the Osmos uh, vinyl version, which is actually the B side of Gods of War. But this is the Nuclear War Now reissue. I'm pretty positive it is. But, uh, yeah, all music by Blasphemy, 1988 to 1989. Yeah, this is the 2018 reissue by Nuclear War Now. So fucking good. Just absolute Ross Bay cult eternal. Part of me likes these versions of the songs more than the Fallen Angel of Doom versions of these tracks. I don't know if that's just me, but like, I don't know. These just really are super gnarly, and I, I fucking love it. Like, every track on here is great. Like, on Side Darkness, you have the Ross Bay intro. War Command! Demon Act. Weltering in Blood, Ritual, and on Side Impurity, you have Nocturnal Slayer, Blasphemy, and Blasphemous Attack. Just, they sound great, and I love this demo tape to fucking death. Super, super sick. And that's the Nuclear War Now reissue. Impaled Nazarene are fucking awesome. <laughs> And lastly, on the cassette side of things, this is something I'm super stoked on. Like, seriously, it's fucking dope to even have this in my hands right now. And that is Vlad Tepes and uh, Belt Krar and March to the Black Holocaust. Holy shit. I was listening to just like the beginning of this last night and was like 
just completely blown away by the riffage on here. Some of the gnarliest black metal riffs I've heard in a very, very long fucking time. And for a real long time, I've heard a lot about the Black Legions and whatnot. And the Black Legions totally support everything that makes humanity suffer and disappear. War, genocide, epidemics, etc. Awaiting the Black Holocaust, be it known. I guess these guys are on Team Daenerys Targaryen when it comes to things but pretty much on the side of pure, unadulterated evil. Vlad Tepes are fucking sick. And this split is absolutely just amazing sounding. Like, just the vampiric black metal of Vlad Tepes mixed alongside... Belkrar, it's, it's fucking gnarly. Sorry for the mispronunciation there, but just wow. Thank you, Dominic. Fucking sick guy, as always. Always sending gnarly cassettes over and, like, sick shit from, like, the Netherlands and stuff. Like, look at this fucking show. Like, Undergang, The Quisitor, fucking just insane stuff like MSUO like what I'm trying to find the one uh, I was looking at yesterday here it is Helsinki Death Fest yo this lineup is insane for the pre-fest show with fucking Ghastly like holy shit but the main show with like Butcher, ABC, Cardiac Arrest, Galvanizer, Disgusted Geist, Gorophilia, uh, fucking Frenolith, Funeral Barum, Demilich, Undagong, like holy shit. Just super, super sick. And it's time for a up. Upgrade, massive upgrade actually, and that's an upgrade from the cassette version of Maggot Stomp's Incoffinized Chambers of Deprivation to the LP version of Chambers of Deprivation. Holy shit, this is like listening to a completely different record. This legit sounds like a demo compared to how good this sounds on vinyl. 45 RPMs of madness. This is so fucking good. I'm gonna actually play both of these and let you know why sometimes upgrading from cassette to vinyl is a good thing. It doesn't mean you're being greedy Sometimes it's good to have all different formats of a record because you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. The only record that I have every single format of is Torture Rack. And that's just because Pierce sent me every single version of Malefic Humiliation that they had. So I have the Extremely Rotten Productions cassette, the Head Split cassette, the Parasitic Records and 20 Buck Spin vinyl and the 20 Buck Spin CD version. So that's awesome. But here, what they did at Audio Siege completely changes the drum sound. To me, the whole entire dynamics of the cassette are just completely one up on the vinyl version of Chambers of Deprivation. I even played this for a few friends of mine who honestly aren't the biggest fans of Encolfinize. And they were like, yo, can you send me a link if this is still available on vinyl? Because I didn't know it sounded that good. And yeah, the vinyl version of Chambers of Deprivation, I don't know if it's my ears, but it makes 
the cassette version legitimately sound like a demo. That's just how I hear it, but holy shit. Maggot Stomp, once more, when it comes to LPs, knocked it out of the park and crushed the original cassette release. And that goes for Church of Disgust, even though Maggot Stomp didn't do the original cassette. Head Split did, they fucking killed it. And the Mortal Wound cassette just sounds absolutely nothing at all compared to how good the LP version sounds. And it just has me with this just death metal hard on for how gnarly the gutless LP is going to sound because I really, really want to grab the abraded 7-inch as well because I just really right now, I'm going more for the LP size of things because, especially through Maggot Stomp, because they're just killing it when it comes to their vinyl releases. And I know that the abraded cassette is released through Aggressively Uninterested, and I love how this sounds on tape, but if it sounds on its 7-inch format, anything like the Encoffinized LP sounds, or the Mortal Wound LP, or the Church of Disgust LP sound, in comparison to what the cassette sounds like, it's pretty much essential that I grab the 7-inch version of this in the near future. But I wanted to go over a collection update and also show you a little upgrade here. And I'm going to do a whole entire new freshy review of Chambers of Deprivation because that's how different... I think the LP sounds in comparison to the cassette, but let's do a little comparison test ourselves, but that's my collection update for now, but let's do this real quick. So we'll do vinyl first and then cassette. So as always, thanks everybody that supports this channel. Thank you John Randall for sending this my way. You're the fucking man. Thank you, Maggot Stomp, for keep releasing such badass underground records. And thank you, Dominic, in the UK, for always sending over killer analog atrocities. I'm so stoked on this. You have no fucking clue. And I'm really digging this gouge release as well. You can't go wrong with blasphemy. And this Vlad Tepp's split is amazing as well. But let's do this comparison, shall we? As always, though, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>